All right, good morning. We need a playground ball, small cushion, some weights, and possibly a band, although I'm torn on that one today. Hopefully you guys all have some good music. I am in a different spot today. It's my husband's birthday. He just woke up, so I wasn't ready to go. Let's get some good music and just march it out. I think these lights are gonna bug me up at the top, but oh well. Nice, roll those shoulders back and down. Engage that belly button to the spine. Start adding some fire into those legs. Let's get those arms pumping. Squeeze those glutes. Good. Let's take a big inhale all the way up. And pull that down back behind you. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's do one more. Inhale all the way up. And pull it down. Good, let's push it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep on going. I need my music. Up. Good. Oh, it's so much better with music. I, don't, I hope you guys all have it. Four, three, two. Really feel that strength in the arms. Pull it down, opposite elbow to knee. Keep that chest nice and upright, nice and parallel to start. Try not to hinge forward at all. Bring those legs up to meet the elbow. Four, three, two, body weight squat, hips, feet hip width apart and back and push. Can't quite get it. Good. Back and push. Exhaling on the up. Try to push the knees to the outside. Feeling that nice fire in the glutes. We're trying to get our hips down 90 degrees. Down and down, good. Hold this one down, pulse it. Chest is up. I can easily read Jill's shirt. My eyes were better. I would be able to read it. Four, three, two. We're just gonna take little steps left and right. So stay low. Keep that board on the top of the head. Good, sit one inch lower. Yes, I'm just coming up to fix this one last time. Makes me wanna play foosball down here. Over, four, Three, let's get those arms up if you can. Two, one, hold the feet hip width apart. Push and push. Good. Shoulders back and down. So we're trying to get it down away. Good, four, three, two, hold this one here. Drop it one more inch if you can. And bringing the belly button up to the spine. Shoulders pulled down, eye gaze in the, is diagonally in front. Four, one centimeter down, three, good. If the arms are too much, you can always cross them. And squeeze to come up. Begin to all the way up, hold those arms here, pull the shoulders down, let's get that left leg way back behind. Drop it and up, down down so front knee over the front ankle back hip really pushing forward tucking that hip the hips underneath good four three pull this one down pulse it eight seven nice and upright five three two hold it down we're gonna go up an inch down an inch up an inch down an inch, good. Four, three, teeny tiny. Smaller the better, and one. Hold this one down, bring that left foot back to meet the right, and the right leg goes back, ready? Down and up. Really feeling this opening of the quad. Hip flexor. If balance is difficult, I want you to pick a point and stare at my face in the computer, find some place on the wall 
but really focus on that point. Three, two, one. This time, let's hold it down. Pulse, pulse. Feel that stretch. Good. Four more. Four, three, two. Hold it down. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Teeny tiny. Look at that front knee. Make sure it's over the ankle. Good. Four, three, two, one. Hold it down. Bring that right foot in. Big inhale all the way up. Hinge forward. Soften the knees. We're going to walk out. Can everybody see me? I'm going to keep coming this way. Okay. High plank. Tuck those hips under. Your back is perpendicular, or sorry, parallel to the floor. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Let's push back into those heels. We're going to just do a little mountain climber to get that heart rate up just a little bit. So you can go slow. We're just bringing the knee straight in front today to start. In, in. Engage the core, feel the glutes. Good. Four, three. We're gonna speed this up in the next set. Let's go out to the outside. So elbow to, or knee to elbow. Switch, knee to elbow, alternating. Feel that oblique crunch. Exhaling on the in. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, two, and one, hold it here. Back to regular mountain climbers, walk or run this time. Get some hang time if you want. Pull the shoulders down, eight, seven, six, five, three, and one, elbow out, back, in, back, you're switching. Squeeze back. Hold it here. Walking plank. So just with the hand. Down with the right. Left, right, left. Hold low plank. This is not in your, on your uh, to-do list today. Let's switch arms. Up and up. Alternating. Down, down. Up, up. Alternating. Flat back. Two more. We can do this. Try to take out the wiggle in the body. Last one, both sides. Last one, total. Good. Let's walk the hands back to the feet. Soften the knees. Am I still in the deep under? Yes. Grab those elbows, wrap side to side. Hang heavy. Roll it up one vertebra at a time. Let those arms go. Big arm rolls back when we get here. Get that heart rate up again. Let's just push. Low impact. Or you want to really get some super skaters going. Try to touch the ground, keeping the chest up just a little bit. Good. Nice, Lisa. Four more. I keep creeping up to see you. Three, two, and one. Let's run it out. Or high knees, marching, either one. The high, the high ponytail doesn't work. All right, stay marching. If you don't want to take this up higher, roll the shoulders back and down. We're going to go one, two, hop, hop. One, two, hop, hop. Hop. One, two, hop. 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 Hi, buddy. One, two. One, two. Jumping jacks. 
Low impact. High impact, I want the same arms. You're just gonna cross the feet. Feel the opening of the chest. Yes. Eight more. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. One. Run it out. Regular runs, high knees or walk. Good. Nice, Jill. And perfect. Let's go to butt kickers. If you want, get those arms up. Brings the heart rate up. Low impact, I forgot to show you. This is low. Sorry about that. Eight, seven, five, four. Back to the run, run, hop, hop. So it's run, run, hop. If you're walking, hold. Hold. So add that knee lift. Good, we're gonna start bringing it down soon. Four, three, two, one. Low impact jumping jacks. If you wanna go high, you can. I'm just gonna start bringing my heart rate down. Four, three, two, side lateral lunges. So we're gonna widen the stance, feet are open slightly. We're gonna reach over and center sumo squat. Over, sumo squat, squat, your chest is up. We're taking our time here to feel the stretch. Center, really get those hips back and down. Good. Try to keep the chest up. If you can't, if you're here looking down, don't go quite as far. I'd rather see the chest up even if you're just touching your knee, that's good. Yes. Trying to keep your head above your heart is the idea. Two. Last one. Let's just pendulum those arms side to side. Yes. Four. Three. Make sure you're bending that leg that you're going over to the side on. So bending both sides. Three, two, one. Bend the knees. Sumo squat. Hands can come down if you want. We're gonna just heel toe those feet in. Two hip width apart. Again, hang the head heavy. Grab those elbows. Rock side to side. Feel that stretch behind. Good. Release the arms and roll up one more time. Head last to come up. Good, two more big arm rolls back. We're gonna drop right down. If you wanna grab your mat, go ahead. We're gonna drop right down and do some side try rises. I said it might be a little restorative. I might have lied. I don't know. Can you hear me, Ann? Okay, good. Is everything okay? Okay. So if you don't want to do the side try rise, take your weights. You're going to bend at the knees. Your belly button is going to come in. We're just going to do tricep kickbacks instead of side try rise. But try them with me. So we're going to lay on the ground. That bottom hand, and I don't care which one you start, I'm just going to use bottom and top hand. Your bottom arm hand comes up to the top shoulder. The top arm is gonna come somewhere on the ground in front of you. So harder underneath the armpit, a little easier out toward the side of the mat. So bend the knees so you're nice and comfy. You're gonna push it up, focusing on this tricep right here and down. Your hips are stacked on top of each other. Good. If you need to, 
Use that top hand just to help you up a little bit too. If you want to try side, try rises, it's just not quite there yet. Use this bottom hand to help leverage just a little bit more. Good. So you can drop that arm if you need to. Three, two, oh, let's do four more. I was talking to, I don't know how many. I'm going on feel here. Three, two, can we do eight pulses? Hold it down. Eight, push down. Seven, six, five. We're really feeling that tricep. Four, three, two, one. Push it up. Good job. Nice, Lisa. Let's spin her around. It might be a little far for you guys to see. I apologize. All right. That bottom arm comes on top of the shoulder. Top arm under the armpit or out forward. You'll feel it is a little bit, if you play with this, it's a little bit easier out forward. Ready? Push it up and down. Up. Yes. Look at how strong you guys are. Beautiful. Nice. Let's do eight more right here. Eight, seven, we can do this. Six, five. If it starts getting too hard, use that top arm to help you up just a little bit. Three, two, one, hold, hit down, pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Good, push that up. Let's come into some push ups. Wide arm. So wider, if your mat was long ways, your arms would be wider if you're not trying to get into that nice goal pose position. Feel free, use something sturdy. If you wanna do some standing ones, a little less difficult, the further down you come, the harder it is. Feel free if you wanna come down onto the ground, bend those hips, and but really push into the hands. Next option, you're gonna keep those toes flat, down and up. Third option or fourth option up on the toes. Keep the head in line with the spine. Try not to push it down. Everybody hold this up position. Ready? We're gonna go down for two, up for two. We are gonna do four today. Down for two, up. Belly button up to the spine. Down for two, up. Gorgeous. Down and up. Try to screw those palms into the floor. Good. Two. One, up for two, down for two. Hold this one down, pulse it. 16, 15, 14, 12, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Push it up, push it back, quick child's pose. Reach out in front. Good, we're gonna come into some triceps. Same thing, feel free, grab your sturdy surface. We're gonna have that $100 bill underneath those armpits. Push the hips forward, I think it looks better this way. You're on the ground, we're gonna push those hips forward. Again, feel free to bend at the hips if you need to. Elbows coming straight down to the ground and pushing up. Ready, down for two. Squeeze up for two, don't let that $100 bill go. Yes. If your range of motion is going, bring those knees in a little bit more. Trying to get nice form, range of motion. Down for two, up, down, up, down. Hold this one down for our pulses. 16, 15, 14, pull the shoulders away. 11, 10, eight, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Collapse if you need to. Reach out in front. Everything's extended. While we're here, let's work our back just a little bit. I'm gonna just fix my camera a second. You can see me a little better. There we go. All right, so we're gonna reach out with the arms. Squeeze the legs together. You only have one leg. Belly button, try to get it off the ground. Squeeze those glutes. Legs come up. We're gonna come up, bringing those hands to the armpits. 
and then out to the diagonal, coming down. Squeeze up with the legs and down. Up, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really feel the back working. Up for two. Up and down. Up. Hold this one out there. Let's go swim. Arms come straight up ahead, above the head. Let's bring one arm down and do some freestyle. Let's flutter kick those feet. Switch arms. Flutter kick, or if you need to leave the feet on the ground, or you can even just hold them together. Swim. Really get that arm all the way back and down. Don't forget to take that breath out of the water. Good. Three. Two. You should be feeling this in the arms too. Last one each side. And one. Good. Hands come underneath those shoulders. Feet can just come down to the ground. Let's push it up. And back into child's pose one more time. All right, come on up to all fours. Quick cat cow. Knees right under the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. Articulate that lower over all the way up. Exhaling and inhale. Follow your own breath. Exhale all the way up. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Good. Last one. Come back to neutral after this one. Exhale. And inhale. And come on back. All right, we're gonna do quick boat pose. So we're just gonna come onto our chest. Everyone just widen the sits bones a little bit. Maybe a diagonal, that'll probably be good. Nice wide sits bones sitting up out of the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down, a couple options. We're gonna hinge back. You can hold this right here with your feet down on the ground, holding onto the backs of the hamstrings. If you wanna to try to bring it up a little bit, feet up in the air. I am hinged back, but I'm flat and my belly button is re reaching toward my spine. You can reach out over the toe or over the knees or outside of the knees really. And if you want, you can come into straight legs. We're gonna hold this. Pick that chest up, hold, hold. Wow, my basement's hot, it should be cool, it's hot. It should be in the wine room or in our house, the rum room. Four, three, two, and one. Hands come back behind you. Fingers are gonna point toward the heels. We're gonna bring those feet back up. We're gonna crunch, extend, crunch, crunch. Yes, in. How do you like to get that? This is not restorative, is it? Ah, it's good though. I mean, maybe this is what I needed more than restorative. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back up to your boat, wherever that boat is. Feet on the floor, feet up, arms out, legs out. Good. Five, four, looking out at that diagonal. Woo, three, I have to scratch myself. Two, and one beautiful job. Let's come on over to all fours again. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes. Hips come up, push it back into your downward dog. This one might feel a little tight. We'll try to do it again later. See if we feel a little looser. Push into the heels, flat back. Push away with the hand. Let's pick up that right leg. Point the toes, open up the hips for your open dog. Pointing the toes behind you. Reach those toes up to the ceiling again. From here, we're bringing the knee to the nose. So we're coming forward, knee, and back up again. Knee, extend. Try to think, knee, extend. So you're coming over those Wrists and then back. In and back. Two more. 
And last one. Bring that right foot down, push back into downward dog. Feeling the strength in the shoulders with downward dog too. Lift up that left foot, point the toes. Open up your dog. You can peek under the shoulder, under the armpit really. And back up to center, to the sky. Let's bring that knee into the nose. Forward and up. Forward, up, forward, and back. Let's do two more. Exhaling when you're bringing the knee to the nose. Last one. Foot comes down to meet the other one, downward dog. Come into your high plank. Tuck the hips under. We're gonna do a little chaturanga. So you need to bring the knees down, that's fine. We're gonna lower down slowly, elbows tracking to the back. Come on up. You can do a mini cobra too. You don't have to come all the way up. Pull the shoulders down. Let's tuck those toes under and hips back to downward dog. Let's do that one more time. High plank, tuck the hips, drop the elbows down to the mat, rolling through and up. Tuck the toes, hips come up and back. And from here, bend the knees, float or step the feet to the hands. And roll up one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful, big inhale all the way up. Sorry, I'm just gonna get rid of something really quick. There we go, and pull down with those elbows, whoops. One more inhale all the way up. And squeeze again. Let's interlace those fingers behind our back. Push down and away. If it's available and only if your shoulders are okay with this, we'll start bringing those arms up, soften the knees and inch forward. You can open it up just a little bit if you like, side to side. Good, slowly and carefully, come on up. Beautiful, let's grab our, let's just go lightweights. All right, lightweights, who works some shoulders? All right, I'm going to get started whenever you guys can join me. We're going to start in a first position and work our little demi plie. So let's really focus on those demi plies today. That might be a good spot to see. My feet are only open as far as my hips can get open. So my hips are opening first. Knees dropping down and I want you to squeeze everything to come back up. Feel the tension in the glutes, the inner thighs, the hamstrings, the quads and squeeze to come up. I'll keep reminding us to focus on the legs because sometimes it's easy to forget about them when we're working on the hands so much. So down, squeeze to come up. Now let's add the arms. We're gonna come down and slow to come up. Good, one down, three, two, one. Good, squeeze up, three, two, squeeze those legs, down. Three, two, good, and down. This time we're gonna hold the legs down and arms are gonna stay up. Let's pulse it up, up. Arms are moving slightly. There's a little pulse with the arms. Really squeeze those glutes, tuck the hips under. Feel the tension in the legs, all in this hip girdle. Up, up, good. Shoulders are low, you have a beautiful long neck. Four, three, two, one. Let's do a little scarecrow. So we're up and down, just hinging around the elbows. Slow, down, good tempo, you guys. Up, down, up. If this is a little much in the shoulders, 
Feel free to lower the elbows just a little bit. Up, down, up. Yes. Good. This time we're going to hold the goalpost arms. Hold them here. And we're going to bring the elbows down and arms down, back up to 90. So it's down, down, halfway up. Trying to squeeze your, um, the side of your body with those elbows. Oh, I went too high there. Down, up, stop at 90. Feel that tension. Squeeze the glutes. And up, down. Feel the tension in the arms too. We have light weights here. So we really have to make that tension work. Up, squeeze the side of the body and down. Keep squeezing the side of the body. Now you release it. Squeeze the side, down. Squeeze, down. Squeeze, up. Good, last two. Feel the tension. Yes. Hold this one up. Overhead press. Overhead press. Up. Slightly in front of the head. Squeeze those glutes. Really tuck this under. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold them up here. Get down into demi plie. We're going to come down with the arms. Straight in front and just pedal them out. Little dips with the hips and the knees. Welcome back in. Oh yeah, there it is. You guys feeling that now? <sighs> Low shoulders, high arms, but not higher than your shoulders. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, hold it. If you can, open it up, circle. Let's finish it out. You can do it, Linda. Three, palms face down. Two, one, if you need to, get rid of the weights, but stay with us. Backwards, four, three, two, one, palms face up for eight, seven, slow, six, feel the resistance, four, two, one, bring them down. Beautiful job. Let's roll those shoulders. That felt good. And back. Let's work some triceps. All right, so same first position again. Heels are together, but open from the hips. All right, demi plie. Let's really tuck those hips under so you have a heavy seat, heavy tailbone. Rolling the shoulders back and down though, hinge forward. So looking at that diagonal, let's squeeze the elbows back. You're gonna start with those weights right at the hips. We're not bringing them to our chest. That gives us too much of a break. We're squeezing up, stop at the hips, up. Long neck, good. Eight more, seven. Keep those elbows high. The only thing moving is from the elbow down to the fingertips. Top of the arms is really still. Three, two, hold this one up there. Demi plie, palms face each other. Squeeze with a little pulse. Squeeze up and down with the legs. Squeezing, trying to touch the hands. It's not gonna happen because our arms are pretty straight. There's a softness to the elbows, but not bent. Eight, seven, six. Squeeze, four, two, palms face up, up, up. Get them up higher. Try to get them above the hips if you can. Hinge forward slightly. Good, Jill. Four, three, two, one. Squeeze, eight, palms together. Four, three, two, one. Up for eight, seven, six. Make it smaller. Three, two, up, or in for four. Four, three, squeeze hold. Two, and one, up for four. Three, two, in for two. And two, up, 
for two, in for two, up, in, up, in, single it out right here, squeeze up, oh my gosh, squeeze, maybe it was a side try rise, four, three, two, fours and four circles, four, three, we can do it too, nice and, and one go the other way, good, Lisa, slower, three, two, I'm shaking, and one, bring them down. Oh, release it, Demi, plie those legs. Just shake everything out. And slowly roll up. We're gonna run out of time. I think we're good with arms, what do you think? You feel good? We good? All right, so grab your playground ball and a sturdy surface. All right, thank you guys. I might blend in too much with, with my stuff over there. Maybe I'll use, I shouldn't have worn black today. I didn't realize. All right, we're gonna try something different. I'm gonna use, oh, gotta put that blind down. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, so put that playground ball in between. The inner thighs. Why is it not working? Oh, batteries are dead. No! All right, I'm going to take you somewhere else. There we go. That'll work. We're going all over the place today. So, ball in between those inner thighs today. Feet are going to be parallel to start. We're going to rise up and down. Up on the toes. Down, up, and down, up, and up. Let's get one arm up overhead. You can try two arms, let's work that balance. Lisa, I know you love working balance. Let's tuck those hips under, so really squeeze those glutes with these heel raises. Keep going, up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Hold it up here, up, up, up. Good. Beautiful. Eight, seven, just waking up those calf muscles. Four, three, stay in this high heels. Make sure you have something to hold on to. So still heels are up nice and high. We're gonna drop down for two and up for two. Remember you're sliding down your wall. Keep those hips tucked under. We're gonna get full range first, so we're getting a little break in the beginning. So you guys know that'll change. And up, squeezing that ball constantly. Hold this one down. Tuck those hips under, we're pushing down. And down, and down, down, down. Beautiful, stay lower, make it smaller. Squeeze up all constantly. Hold this one down. Now squeeze with the inner thighs. In, in, in. Squeeze, hold, squeeze, hold, squeeze, hold. Cushion works great too. Squeeze, hold. Anything that you can that has a little give to it. Eight, seven, six, four, two. Hold this here. Hips right and left side. Left and right and left and right. Yeah, stay low. Should be shaking. Four, three, ooh, look at those hips. And one, center, push it down. Tuck the hips under, you should be shaking in those legs. Yes, eight, seven, make it smaller, six, five, four, take the bounce out if you can. Two, one, oh my goodness, shake that out. My left leg was, like a little earthquake. Let's take left leg, open it up real quick. Just a quick break. Let's switch. We're gonna put that ball behind the left knee or whatever your outside knee is. 
All right. I'm going to put it behind my right, which is your mirror left. So your feet are going to be parallel right to me, right to the camera or wherever you happen to be. Let's demi plie, plie deeply into that right leg. If you're with me, we're going to lift up by our hydrants down, up. You want to get an arm up, you can. I want you to feel this crunch with the oblique too. And down, up. There's a slight pause up here. You should be feeling this in this glute. Up, four, three. You can drop that back knee behind the front knee just a little bit. Hold this one up, hold it here. Softening into that standing leg. If you're my mirror, be your right leg. Teeny tiny, up, up, keep going. Keep going. Need some contrast here. Yes, up, up, four, three, two, Back to the down and up. So let's come down for two. Let's really curtsy into it now. Kick this right hip out and up for two. Down for two. If you want, you can be on those toes. And up, beautiful. Down, up, down. Last one. This time we're gonna hold it down, hold it into that curtsy, back leg behind, push it down, down, hand slightly in front. Yes, eight, seven, six, four, make sure you're really strengthening the upper, taking it out of the knee, two, one, good. Shake that out, we have another side. Hmm. This one's gonna be harder. I guess I will. <sighs> Do. Oh, well, we'll try it this way. We'll kind of face this way. All right, if you want to come up on the toes immediately, you can, or think about when you came up on the toes in the last one. All right, puppy dog, fire hydrant. So we're up and down, slightly behind. No big curtsy yet, like we did at the end. Up for two, down for two, up and down. Maybe, keep going. And down, up for two, down for two. Up for two, down for two. None of this is working for me today. We'll get all of this. Hold that one up there. For up. You're just not gonna see my head. Up, up. Eight. Seven, six, four. I'm gonna come up onto my toes now. Two and one. We're gonna drop it down, up for two. Curtsy, two, up for two. Down, yeah, down for two, up for two, down and up. Down for two, I kind of like it better back here, better contrast. Just need to get the camera away a little bit. Hold this one down, push, push. So you're in that deep curtsy, kicking that hip out. Yeah, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Up for two, down. Up, almost there. Maybe it's because I cheated and was walking around, but I feel like this side's not quite even. I think it is because I cheated. Good. And down and up. Good. Shake that out. Let's take that right foot. I think it's weird that you can't see my face. Right. That's not working either. Good. And switch. Yes. Good. 
Okay, so let's take, get rid of the ball for a second. I'm gonna turn again. We'll go. So from here, you're just gonna see all the parts of my house today. You have a sturdy surface, possibly, you're gonna come forward and out. I think this would have worked if I didn't wear black leggings. So if I do this again, down here, I'll wear something nice and light. Four, I'm kind of like a go. Three, two, last one, switch. Just feel that hip flexor, go and go. Four, three, and one, good. All right, let's come back to the bar. Let's do some basic stuff. We're gonna come here in a second position. So widen the stance, your hips are open, arms are gonna come out, down, squeeze up, down, sliding down your wall. Four, heels are flat for now, really pushing into those heels, wiggle those toes. Hold this one down, pulse it down, 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 down. Eight, seven, feel that opening. Really feel those hip flexors squeezing back. And hold this one down, left heel up, down, right heel up, and down, left heel up. Make sure your back's nice and upright. You want a little more, get those arms up. Keeping the head super still. Four, three, two, one. Hold both heels up, both heels down. If you have a sturdy surface, hold on to it. And down, up, down. Hold the heels down, push it down, down. Wiggle the toes. Eight, seven, six, four, feel this opening. Three, two, hold this one down. Arms down and up with a little pulse. And up, down, up. Eight, seven, six. Let's make it smaller. Four, two, Hold this one down, arms come out. We're gonna turn over to the right side. So twist, down an inch, up an inch into a lunge, down, up. Yes, make sure your back leg is back far enough so the front knee is right over that ankle. Four, three, two, back to second position, heels down, eight pulses down, seven, Six, four, three, back to center here. I don't know, Anne, are you back in center? You're still in lunge. Anne, can, yeah, there you go. All right, let's turn over to the other side. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Long necks, make it small, push this back, get forward. Four, three, Two, hold it down, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Well, let's open it back up. Second position, down an inch, up an inch. So, Anne, turn a little bit back to me. Yeah, there you go. You must have some good music on. I love it. Four, make it smaller. Three, two, and one. Pulse it for eight. Seven, opening this up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Heel toe in. Good, shake the head out. Let's, we're not gonna use bands today, so let's grab your playground ball, come down to the floor. All right, a couple minutes left. Let's do some hamstrings on the floor. Just start. Go. All right. Uh oh. Let me. There we go. So we're going to bring, let's just put the playground ball in between the inner thighs today. The hands are going to be 
on the ground if you like. Feet can start flat on the floor. Push that lower lumbar down into the floor. Pick those heels up to the sky. We're going to come up onto the toes if it's available. Push those hips up as high as you can. If you want to add the hands up to the ceiling, feel free. We're going to push it up and up, squeezing that ball constantly. So really squeeze the ball or the cushion in between those inner thighs. Tiny little down and up, staying pretty high with those hips today. Up and up, good. Nice, Lisa. Eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, hold it up, pause it up, 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 up. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, hold the hips up high, squeeze the ball, release. Squeeze, hold, release. Squeeze, hold, release. Your hips are high. Squeeze, hold, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Now we're gonna squeeze, pulse up. Open, up. Open, pulse up with the squeeze. Open, squeeze, pulse up. Open, squeeze, pulse up. Open, up. Open, squeeze up. Open, and up. Pulse it up just to the ceiling, squeezing constantly. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Put those heels down onto the ground. We're gonna put our hands down on the ground if they're not already. Let's extend that left leg out. Pulse it up and up and up and up. If this is too much, just keep the feet on the floor. Three, two, and one. And switch up, really isolating that glute. Four, three, two, and one. Let's get rid of that ball or cushion. If you don't have a ball, just have your feet flat on the ground. I want you to push your feet out a little bit though for me. So if you're on the ball, you're put underneath your feet, hips come up, squeeze those legs together. We're gonna roll out an inch and in an inch. If you have a cushion, get those feet out and pulse up from there. But we're gonna roll out and in and out and in, good, out, and in, four, three, two, hold the ball out, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, good, squeeze the legs, three, two, one, in for one, and out, in, only eight more, six more, Five, eight from where we started. Four, and in and out. Two, and one. Hold it out, pause it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower those hips down. Bring, you can just take that ball and hug it behind the legs and squeeze those hip flexors. Feel free to roll side to side if you want. Good. You don't need the ball for it now, so just put that to its side. Open those arms up quickly to a T. Drop the legs over to the right. You're in your nice T position. Try to get both shoulders rested gently on the ground. From here, we're going to just touch our temples with our fingertips. Squeeze up and down. I'm not sure what the best way is for you to see me. So we're up, down, up. You can gently support your head, but please don't pull on it. Up, focusing on this oblique. Exhaling on the up, up. Beautiful, nice and. Four, three, two. Hold it here, pulse at eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Feet just center. Up an inch, down an inch, same exact thing. Little crunches up and down and up. Pushing that lower lumbar down into the ground. 
if you want a little more, get those legs up shh, into a tabletop. Four, three, two, one. Hold it here for eight. Pulse, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those feet down onto the ground if they are up. We're gonna lay back down, twist those legs over to the other side. And we're gonna come up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, good. Feel that oblique, exhale and inhale, exhale. Shh, shh, exhale, good. I can see a couple of you. I can see an elbow, I can see Anne fully. Four, three, two, hold it up, pulse it for eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Knees back up to center. We're gonna bicycle it out with something a little different. We're gonna hold it for three, two, little pulses, one and switch. Three, two, one. You're coming up each time. Three, up, two, up, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Three, two, one, switch. Last one, both sides. And last, three, two, let's bicycle it out quick. Twist, twist, let's extend the leg, point the toes, twist, twist, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring those knees into the chest. Head comes down to the ground. I actually want you to try to open up the knees. Maybe it looks better this way. And we're gonna just take big circles with those hips. Breathing. Let's go the other way. And two more. Yes, grab behind the hamstrings, just compress those hips in again. And we're gonna roll up onto our glutes. All right. Feet out in front of you, widen the sits bones. Reach those arms up, bring the shoulders down and hinge forward. Lisa wanted to stay there all day today. Relax the head. And walk on up. We're gonna do that one more time, a little bit different. Big inhale up, flex the feet, hinge forward. You're gonna take your two index fingers and your middle finger and bring the elbows down toward the, the knees. If this isn't available, just hold on to the shins, the knees, wherever you need to. Good, you're trying to lift those heels off the ground if you can. Yes. And release that, just collapse on down. We can wiggle the toes. Walk on back up. Let's sit into a nice butterfly position. Hear my dog scratching away. Just butterfly those legs out. Good, let's take our left leg up over the right. So your right leg's gonna be out. We're gonna take our right arm up and over just for a little bind. Use that leverage of the leg. Oh, let that hip release. You should feel this right in that glute. And then back to the center, switch legs. Take that left arm up and around. I apologize for all I'm moving around today. Hopefully I didn't get you guys too dizzy, but I think I have it figured out now. 
Good, back two, feet flat out in front. Let's flex those feet, widen the sits bones one last time, reach up and over. See how much of that foot you can grab. And relax. Every exhale, you can get a little bit deeper. Release the feet, walk on up. Let's come over onto all fours. Belly button to the spine. Let's tuck those toes under, hips come up, push back one last downward dog. See if you feel a little bit different now. Maybe the heels can get one centimeter deeper. Maybe you can push a little harder, pull those shoulders down the back, down your spine. Trying to get the backs of the knees to the back of the room. And bend the knees, float or step the feet to the hands. Soften your knees and roll up one vertebrae at a time. <sighs> Big inhale all the way up. Pull down, squeeze our shoulder blades. <sighs> Exhale. Give yourself a giant squeeze. Pull those shoulders down. Drop the head to the front. Head comes back up. Release the arms. Pay attention where those arms were. Big squeeze all the way back up. Reach, pull down. And big squeeze. Drop the head back down to the front again. And release that. We're going to take our Left hand, just gently bring the head over to the left side. This is not a pull, just a nice gentle stretch. Good, release that. Other hand, opening up the neck. That should feel great. Good, release that. Head back to the center, two shoulder rolls back. And you guys are done, thank you so much for your time.